Hey there, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you want to study aerospace engineering at a university in the UK, but are also unsure as to which university to choose. Worry no more because in this video, I've compiled a list of the top 10 aerospace engineering universities that you should consider. Number one on the list is Imperial College London. Imperial is based in London as the name suggests and is a world-renowned university for technology and engineering. And if you do end up graduating from Imperial and you slap their name on your CV, people are going to know that you know your stuff well. So Imperial College London is one of the best universities if you want to ensure you have that seal of approval on your CVs. The entry requirements are pretty high as expected. However, they also have some of the best flight simulator facilities I've ever seen in the country. And they have this brand spanking new room where they have various types of flight simulators, including one full cockpit sized flight simulator, which I think is pretty cool. In at number two is the University of Bristol. The location of Bristol makes it such a great place to study at because in the same city you have a lot of the big name aerospace companies like BAE Systems, GKN Aerospace and Airbus all in that close proximity. So if you do decide to study aerospace engineering at Bristol, you have a really good chance of networking with the professionals working at these companies and therefore have a better chance, I guess, to get internships and ultimately grad roles in this area of aerospace. And I think this proximity does give you that unfair advantage over other aerospace students because your dream companies are more or less on the doorstep of where your university is. So that's definitely gonna be a benefit to boost your career once you graduate. Third on the list is the University of Cambridge. This university does not need any sort of introduction. It is up there with some of the best of the best universities in across the planet. However, the downside is that you don't have a specific aerospace engineering degree at Cambridge. However, you do have to go in as a general engineer and you'd end up then specializing into aerospace. But that means you get to interact with all sorts of types of engineers. And the best thing about Cambridge, I'd say, is you're gonna be networking with some of the best of the best minds in the UK. So this will definitely help you in your future career, especially given the fact you're likely to know some of the top industry leaders in the next 10 years. Fourth on the list, we have the University of Bath or Bath depending on where you're from. But the benefits of this university is very similar to Bristol because it's very close to these same aerospace companies again. In essence, Bristol is over here, Bath is just down here. So it's really close to the same sort of companies that you have access to if you are to study in Bristol. In at number five, we have the University of Southampton. One of the pluses of this university is that you're able to specialize in some really niche areas of the aerospace engineering industry. So you're able to specialize into fields such as aerodynamics, spacecraft engineering and computational engineering and design, which I think is quite unique to the universities in the UK in general. In at number six is my pride and joy, the University of Sheffield. This is where I did my degree in aerospace engineering. And honestly, I think it has one of the best unique features, and that is the diversity of student engineering projects. At the University of Sheffield, you can get involved into a number of space and aerospace related engineering projects right from your first day. So you could be working on building rockets, rovers, UAVs, and even some other types of robotics vehicles or machines. So it has some of the best and the top most engineering projects in the whole of the UK. In fact, some of the teams have even broken national records, for example, in rocketry and even won competitions on an international scale. So yeah. Sheffield is pretty badass when it comes to their student engineering project. Number seven on the list, we have the University of Glasgow. Glasgow is based in Scotland, as you may already know, but one of the good things about being based in Scotland is you will be at the heart of the commercial space revolution that is going to be taking place in the UK in the next few years, especially with the plans of having a spaceport in the north of Scotland, and also the rise of more and more space technology startups 
in cities around Glasgow, such as Edinburgh and north of Scotland in Forres, for example. The home of commercial space is going to be Scotland. And I think if you do choose to study in Glasgow, you have a very good chance to being integrated into that development. So ultimately, if space and space engineering is what you're interested in after graduating from aerospace engineering, then I do definitely want to stress that being in Scotland might just be the best thing you could do. So yeah, Glasgow is a top choice for space, especially. In at number eight, we have the University of Leeds. You know, the University of Leeds doesn't actually have anything unique. However, I'd say because of the city it's located in, it's pretty sizable. And so I'd say it's a great opportunity for you to network with people. And also it's the city where you're probably not likely to get bored of things to do because there's always something going on in Leeds. So if you do want to enjoy your time outside of your studies, then Leeds might be a good option purely because you're gonna have a diversity of activities you can do outside of your university and your course. In at number nine, we have Loughborough University. Loughborough does boast a number of specialist facilities that are related to aerospace engineering from things like anechoic chambers, large wind tunnels, flight simulators, and even engine test cells. Having studied engineering and more specifically aerospace engineering myself, I do see the importance of having access to top range facilities because I personally like to learn by being hands-on rather than watching lectures and reading books. So having the opportunity to use the best of the best facilities is Something that I do think is really important if you want to truly understand what you're learning in lectures and really make your theoretical knowledge join with your practical skills. So that's why, yeah, Loughborough is number nine on this list. In at number 10 for your aerospace engineering, we have the University of Nottingham. The University of Nottingham, again, has nothing really special related to its aerospace course. However, the university itself is based on a nice green campus and I'm sure aerospace engineering will be stressful for you as it was stressful for me. So I think it is really cool that you can just go and walk around in the green parks and so on just to relax and you know, I guess de-stress because ultimately you're gonna perform much better in your course if you're not stressed and you have been relaxed. So ultimately, if you just want to have a nice chill time at university, I would say Nottingham may be a good choice for you. And that comes in at number 10. So there we have it. That is the top 10 universities you should study at if you want to do aerospace engineering. And ultimately, if you do go to any of these universities, you're going to be perfectly fine in your careers because they are the best of the best in the UK to study aerospace engineering. So I wouldn't even stress if you don't get into your into number one on this list. If you get into number 10, still perfectly start fine. You're miles ahead of other people who don't even make it into one of these universities. So don't stress too much about which university you get into um, and enjoy your time at university and studying engineering because it was probably some of the best time I had in my life. So uh, yeah enjoy it also let me know which university you currently study at if you're studying aerospace engineering and also let me know which universities you're thinking to study aerospace engineering at i'd love to know so comment down below but if you're unsure whether to study mng or bng do check this video out i made it hopefully will explain to you the differences and which one you should pick so enjoy